Hi guys, Todd here again with Todd's World Home Show and I'm back with you again, another video on YoLink. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how I use their temperature sensors. They have a temperature humidity sensor for indoor with a display like this one here. And they also have one that's a weatherproof one, no display, but you can use smart features or use the YoLink app to read any one of these sensors on the YoLink app, the temperature or humidity. Now, you know YoLink uses that long range technology, so you can set these out in a warehouse or garage away from your home or workshop and monitor temperatures uh, from your home or from your app from anywhere in the world. Remember, you're going to need the YoLink hub with any of the YoLink products, but it's easy to hook up the extra devices like this to the hub and these are really affordable and they make a good addition to your YoLink smart home. And we're back. And now my YoLink model with the display I have mounted kind of in a unique way. I put it out on my pool patio area. It's covered out there underneath the front door and patio area. And I stuck up the front display with double-sided sticky tape onto the front of the YoLink unit and stuck it to the uh, back of my window glass so I can see the display from inside. Uh, if I walk by my hallway, I can quickly look out and see what's the temperature out there by the pool patio area, see the humidity level, now I live in Florida, so if you're not used to humidity, uh, you better get used to it if you move down here. It's, you're always gonna have humidity. So that humidity level here you're gonna see is always high. But also I'll show you the other side of it, it's stuck and you can see the back of it stuck to the glass on the outside and it's working real well for me like that. Now the other one, this is the weatherproof model. Now it does have some holes in it uh, I guess where it takes temperature reading. So I wouldn't leave it or mount it out in the rain. I don't know, maybe we can ask YoLink that if it is truly like waterproof, weatherproof, but I would put it underneath of an awning, but I've got mine outside and I've just got it laid out by my uh, back porch patio area near my Alexa device. And that's what I use to feed me readings from this. Or I can check the YoLink app. So guys, as one of the first ways I like to use my outdoor YoLink thermometer is when I wake up in the morning, you know, you usually wake up, get in your bathroom, get, get your shower on, get your teeth brushed and you come into your closet and you're going to want to know, you know, what's the temperature outside? How am I supposed to dress? So when you go into your closet, I've got mine hooked up to a motion sensor. So now I know how to dress. It's 101 degrees outside, sweltering hot. I've got my Echo Flex right here, and that is what's relaying that information from the YoLink temperature sensor to me. And it knows when I walk in my closet with this motion sensor right here. So that's one good way you can use your temperature sensor as a smart way to know how to dress. So also I can read this indoor temperature sensor right here I've got it stuck on the glass, but from the outside in my pool area. So if I go around here and go out to the pool area, as I come out to the pool patio area, you can see I've got my thermometer, YoLink thermometer mounted to the outside of this glass that we saw on the inside. Now, if I walk around the corner, I do have a motion sensor around here and an echo device. So I'm gonna walk around the corner in front of the motion sensor and I usually sit down right out here. Right now in Odessa, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 90 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. Wait for it. The pool patio temperature is 81.7 degrees. Cool. Now the final smart method I have to discover my temperatures from the YoLink 
outdoor temperature this time, the outdoor temperature unit, when I come out this back porch patio door, I've got an indoor Yolink contact sensor right up here on the patio door on the inside. So let's just say I'm gonna come out this door. That triggers the contact sensor to send me the weather and the temperature here on my outdoor Alexa device. Currently in Odessa, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 90 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. Wait for it. The back porch temperature is 102.6 degrees. Wow. Cool, right? All right, let's take a closer look at this through the Yolink app. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Yolink app here. And on my front favorites page, that's where I've got all my Yolink thermometers currently. And I can read the readings just like that, just instantly. I like that, that I can get the readings uh, from my, you see the bottom ones are my RV basement and my RV inside of the RV temperatures and humidity levels. And then I've got the back porch uh, weatherproof one. That's at a scorching 103.3 .3 degrees right now. The pool patio one, see, I can tell where I want to go sit. If I want to go get some fresh air in the afternoons, I don't want to be sitting on the back porch right now at 103 degrees, but the pool patio might be a little bit more comfortable at around 82 degrees. So those features like that come in handy as well as, uh, how I have my uh, thermometer one with the display mounted to the back side of my glass so I can actually visually see what the temperature is out there on the pool patio as well. So in order to hook these uh, thermometer sensors up, they're very easy, just like every other Yolink device, add-on device. You uh, scan the QR code on the back of the device through the QR code scanner at the top corner of the Yolink app. If you open that scanner up, that's where you would scan your QR code right here. I've already got mine hooked up. So let's just take a look at the back porch thermometer right now. If I go to the back porch, there's my current 103.3 .3 degrees Fahrenheit, 40.5 degrees uh, humidity level. Now, if I press on that right in the center of those readings, this will there we go. This will open up an hourly or daily temperature reading. So I can kind of monitor how, you know, the temperature was earlier 8 a.m., 78 degrees out there. And now all of a sudden it's up to, uh, I guess the last hour at 93.9 degrees. Now it's up to 103. So this is pretty neat how you can get these different readings and see the timeline, the history of all those readings and if you go back and go to the top right with the three dots and press that there's where you can rename it if you want the name is called back porch the room is in the back porch and here's where you can set alerts you can slide this this is like a slider if you want to know if it gets down to 28 degrees fahrenheit it will send you an alert on your phone it will pop up a notification or you can also have it send you an email or both or a text information uh, warning if you want that. Also, you can also do that slider with the humidity level as well. Like I said, I'm not too uh, worried about humidity level down here in Florida. Also, you can set the high temperature. I've got it so if it reaches over 100, say around 100, it's going to send me a notification and warning. Um, and that's about it. It's got the battery level and the signal strength is good. Battery level is full battery currently. Here at the bottom, you check the firmware. We are running the newest version of firmware. Now I'm gonna show you how I created the Alexa routines to make these smart so that I can know how to dress in the morning in my closet. I can get that reading from my Echo Flex. All right, here's how I created the Alexa Smart announcement for my closet on my Echo Flex. If I open up the Echo, or 
Alexa app. We'll go ahead and go into there and go down to the more in the bottom right corner and select more. And then about halfway down, you see routines, select routines. And then we're going to hit the plus sign at the top right corner to add a routine. So hit that. Enter routine name. I'm going to put this Todd's closet. temperature or temp. Okay. That's what I'm going to name it. You can name it anything you want. I'm, I just try to name it to where this uh, activity is going to happen. And it's going to happen in my closet. Hit next at the top right corner. When this happens, press the plus sign next to that. When a smart home thing happens, select smart home. Now we wanted to activate when my closet motion sensor activates motion or detects motion. So I want to go to Todd's closet. Where is that right here? Todd's closet motion, select that. When motion is detected. So select detected and select next to the top right corner and action. What do we want it to do when it detects that motion? So, Press the plus sign next to add action. And we're going to say uh, custom. Select custom at the top uh, section of this. And we're going to ask it something. We're going to say, what is the back porch temperature? and select a done at the bottom and select next at the top right corner. So see here when the closet detects motion, the action is going to be Alexa. What is the back porch temperature? And then where do you want it to say this from? So we got to choose our device where it says from choose device, press on choose device. And we want to look for the flex in Todd's closet. Todd's closet flex. That's what we want. So I'm going to select that. And then top right, I'm going to select save. And there our routine was saved successfully. We got it guys. That's how you do it. Guys, thank you again for tuning into another one of my videos. I really recommend the Yolink temperature and humidity sensors. They've been working well for me. I've been using them for in the RV, I've been using them for months and months. Around my house, I've been using them for the last few weeks. They've been working flawlessly. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.